Ash, for the last time, I was utterly correct about my direction giving. So yeah, after you I corrected your course. No, 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 no. Okay, your okay. course I think we was can the all one agree that everybody played a big part in us getting to the fort. Thank you, I, Marcus. Well, I mean, except for Morin, but yeah, I, that's I fine. Know, I, I didn't do I much don't know either. What I'm, I don't know what I'm doing here. You're part of, <laughs> you're, you're part of Conga Line High Command now, buddy. I slap him on the oh, back. Oh, boy. I, you, uh, uh, before you said I, uh, I already was part of Conga Line High Command. Did well, I get demoted? Now it's official. I slap a badge on his label. Congratulations. I, Good to be working with you, Morin. Uh, yeah, sorry, Morin. I just kind of like... I didn't- it didn't feel good to leave you out in the woods Ash, by yourself. Ash, where are you talking? You're not part of Conga Line High Command. Oh, Ash, uh, I'm sorry. I you are now the snake as far as I'm good. No, you oh, are not part that, of Conga Line High Command. I slap a- I that? slap a badge on her lapel as well. Wait, can I be one rank higher than Indian? Uh, no, sorry. The rank above that is Conga Line High Commander, and that's me. That's okay. Marcus. But we're like on the same rank, right? Yeah, we're Wait, on the same rank Can I be like now, yeah. half a rank higher than Indian? There's hmm. no half ranks in a good I military. I pull a pen out of my bag, lean over, and add plus one half at the end of her badge. <laughs> yeah! Marcus, I'll have you know, historically, this has destroyed armies. Indian, you're going to have to be late. careful with what you say or else I might demote you half a rank. I'm, I'd be fine with that. Yes. I'd begin to subvert you from beneath. No, I, I second the motion of her demotion. Okay, you know what? We're getting caught up in this. We have really important <laughs> things to deal with at the no, moment. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. We can settle anyway. petty power squabbles later. I, I, step, I step forward and, and grab the two to my left and right. Just wait. Okay, just 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 relax. What the fuck are those things? Yeah, exactly. Any I of, was, was going to say, things. these yeah. things, I point to the things on the ground. I think they're alive. They're fine, though. These things, I point to the glowing creatures, do not touch them. They look fluffy, but do not touch them. They look so fluffy. They look I know. extremely fluffy. Look, Hor Horovin says it's part of their allure. Just don't touch them. Okay, thank you for the warning. Now, yeah, uh, and no, no, lastly, 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 uh, uh -huh. you said Gregor was coming to attack this fort, right? That was the plan. It's entirely possible he got caught up doing something else, but... Last we saw him, he was headed in this direction, yes. As far as I know, the band should control this fort. And, I mean, it looks like it. Uh, I glance at the glowing creatures. So just stay behind me, follow my lead. Uh, I'll, I'll get us in good. All right? I glare at Inian, okay? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah Ash, sure. Yeah, Inian, stay right. at the ready, but let's keep the combat out of this one for now. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I technically am a rank higher than you, Inian. Half, Half a rank, a rank. higher. Half, Half a rank, rank higher. higher. I feel like the clarification's important there. Yeah, it is. Uh, but that still means that I'm uh, better than you. Anyway. She's really petty. Yeah. <laughs> I step forward. Uh, would there would there be like a menace in the air? A lingering menace? <laughs> there is a lingering smell in the air. Cooking meat? That's what it smells like, but it doesn't Gunpowder? smell tasty. Did you send did you send Kier this way? Uh not strictly, no. Kier uh, kind of went to get off on his own. I step forward very quickly and rap on the door. There are still people holes in it. I step through one of the holes. Hello? Oh, wow. It's like a cat door. Oh, gods. I oh, stare wow. down at the charred grass and bloodied pavement. There's a lot of those weird things. Uh, uh. Everybody in the fort doesn't seem too bad worse for wear. Considering the circumstances, everybody in the fort seems startlingly fine. Odd. I bow to the ban in front of me and make the pose of the goose and its trusted ducklings. They strike the pose of the welcoming abyss, expressing both nihilism for the combat and the blood that was shed, and welcome to their humble abode. <laughs> I return one last, uh, one last pose. It's, it's the turtle who could retreat into its shell but does not, knowing that what we must do has to be done, even though we don't want to do it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Ash, what the fuck are you saying to them? Shh, 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 shh. I, it's diplomacy. I'm talking. It's fine. They trust us. We're, she isn't we're, waggling her eyebrows great. enough for it. She's it's not working. waggling her eyebrows enough yeah, it, for it to be Indian. diplomacy. Sh chill out, Inian. We're welcome here. I bow and quickly scan the horizon. Wait, no. And quickly scan the fort. Yeah, can we uh, stand somewhere that's not completely covered in blood? Morin, we're on a battlefield. Most places yeah. are going to be covered with blood. Except for, like, that nice pass patch of grass right over there. How about you go sit over there, then? Yeah, I'm going to go sit over there. He kind of nudges past. These things are weird. Glancing at Morin as he nudges past, I, I see Jin. Jin's turned around. Jin? 
Ash, I didn't see you there. He suddenly whirls around. His face is partially covered in soot. What the fuck happened here? Oh, we were attacked. It's of little matter. We managed to fight them off to... Mm, some effect. Who, attacked by who? I glance nervously at Marcus and Inian. Attacked by the Lily clan, that Zeke fellow. I, I see. Um, uh, anyway, anyway. Jin, uh, these are some of my most trusted... Friends, uh, Marcus and Inian, they are... I turn to them, here, hoping for peace. I take a step <laughs> forward, giving a small and courteous bow. Uh, Jeune of Oaths, I am Marcus Falafi, leader of Marcus Falafi's Conga Line for Peace. His, his, his brow furrows slightly. I, it's a pleasure to meet you as well, Mr. Marcus. Uh, I prefer perhaps... Mr. Falafi, thank you. Perhaps you would be interested in maybe conversing in a different place, one that's less, uh, dangerous. Uh, yes, Jin, if we could, we'd need to talk. A lot. Please, follow me. He wanders forward. So, initial read on the guy, Marcus? Oh, he's a prick. He's a huge asshole. You, did you see that? I turn, I turn to Marcus and sort of talk offhandedly as I walk. Did you see that thing he did where he's like, oh, Ash, I didn't see you there. I sure did. He does that every time. Every single time? <laughs> Every single time. Yeah, dude, see, he seems pretty self-absorbed. Definitely a grade-A asshole. No, 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 you don't understand. He knows I'm there right. every time. A a and still, he does the whole, like, oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, look at thing. that. I was, I'm sorry, I was too pensive to notice your approach. Yep, yep, no, it's an old tactic. I used to use it a lot myself. Wow, wait, really? Oh, yeah, sure. No, it's an easy way to make yourself seem more ponderous than you really are. It just kind of makes him seem like an asshole. Yep. Maybe he doesn't <laughs> realize that. You think he has bad social skills? Or maybe he wants that. I don't know, he might. As I walk through the fort, I generally try and assess it to see how bad the attack was. Damage seems to be mostly confined to the front. You remember the fort's regenerative abilities and- Are there any other signs of combat, like farther back here? No, in okay. fact. There doesn't seem to be any signs of combat further in the back. The damage seems to be confined to the front gate. Huh. Uh, I hold back so, and let Ash take the lead here. So, I bow to the ban as I approach. So, uh, Jin. It, yes. it looks like you were able to keep the attack closer to the front of the fort. It must not have been, I mean, too bad. And speaking of the attack, I didn't know that the Lily Clan had any explosive weaponry. Yes, I oh, was interested that about that That big devastating well. scar was Horovin. Really? What? Yes. And yes. Frankly, such devastation isn't like him. You arrived to defend me just in the nick of time. I follow Jin into the fortress. With a clouded expression, Gregor simply turns from the body on the ground to the great blue figure standing nearby. All right, your turn. With a disgusting squelching sound, Narn snaps their head back and forth, the wounds of the previous battle evident upon the carapace shell. They enter a low stance, staring down Gregor. The menace is amplified. However, Fury clatters forward. No, please, please, no, no fighting. Not right now. The battle's over. She kind of waves her hands around. What? Is that Fury? Fury runs over to Gregor to make sure he's doing okay. It's, He yeah, is not. This is Fury. Um, you might want to pay attention to... They look down at Kirlos. I got two eyes, two ears. I'm handling it. I can do both. Gregor, your eyes, your eyes aren't supposed to do that. Fury says... <laughs> As one of his eyes lazily tracks Kirlos on the ground, <laughs> the other fixated on Narn. Oh huh. no. Gregor shrugs. Blood pours from his ear. <laughs> uh, the, fi the fight's over. You did good. Um. <laughs> Gregor places an arm on Fury's shoulder and says, Okay, Fury, I believe you. We're not fighting. Narn's own posture relaxes as well. You feel the tension dissipate slightly. Wait, wait, don't go anywhere. I am resting my entire body weight on you. <laughs> I will not get back up if I go down. Uh, yeah, Gregor, I'm not I'm not going anywhere. She contentedly pats your arm while worryingly looking back and forth between mm. you, the ground, Narn, and your rolling eyeballs. Mm. <laughs> you know, that's starting to hurt now that the glaive is broken. I look down at Kirlos. Possibly the only person, well, one of the few people in worse shape than I am. His own eyes are clouded over. It's clear he won't last much longer. The result of this death match is evident. He's currently in flashback land. Gregor waits <clears throat> respectfully. 
Greg <laughs> Gregor. Yeah, Kirlos. You did. Oh, you did, God. Your justice at the end of it was stronger than mine. I also feel like you cheated on multiple occasions, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> it really shouldn't have had to come to this. No, this was the only way it could have ended for me. Uh, I guess <clears throat> in the end, I never really understood this country. I thought if I got uh, strong enough, powerful enough, famous enough, anything I said would become my truth. I just <clears throat> wanted what was right for my people. Didn't want them to be taken advantage of by their <laughs> bullshit past. He says, struggling up a mouthful of blood. Can I count on you to take care of the rest, Gregor, my boy? Yeah, Kirlos. Whatever it is, you can count on me. He slowly extends an arm with the last of his strength, holding up his gigantic crossbow. I'm leaving you Dr. Shoots and the rest of the Valor clan. Well, oh, both? Okay. Our package deal! Take him and go take him or leave him! He's <laughs> handing you the crossbow. Gregor does his best not to buckle under the added weight. <laughs> Fury is the true champion here. <laughs> yeah, no, she's Fury's barely holding you up. You notice sweat beginning beginning to form on her brow. She's standing for three now. <laughs> she's standing for three, absolutely. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be sure to do the right thing. Having passed his burden onto Gregor, Kyrlos's arched form slumps, resting amidst the grass. Amidst the swirling memories, he lives his last. Kyrlos remembers the first step of his immediate fall down the stairs towards the future. <laughs> <laughs> he'd just been accepted into the most prestigious of the, uh, he'd just been accepted into the most prestigious of the three clans, the glorious gold clan, led by the glorious Dow the Digger. And now, to celebrate the day of your initiation, body shots will be distributed to all those who have joined the clan! The alcoholic beverage is quickly distributed via repeated punches to the gut. <laughs> Kyrlos, in his grand spanking new gold clan attire, turns to his, uh, turns to his peer, a far more slight, thin man. So, uh, what title do you got? Because, uh, ha, mine's Kirlos, and that's pretty much the damn best that you could ever get. The man, in a near whisper, says, My name is Zeke. That doesn't sound like a real thing. You could get sent to the Northern Lines for shit like that. <laughs> Take it or leave it. That is my name. That is my truth. The man says, staring off into the distance. Feeling like he'd been one-upped, Kirlos scratches the back of his head. Well, uh, I... Mm. I, uh, uh, that, that might be your, your truth, but uh, I've got my, my, my own truth. I'm going to, going to revolutionize this country. Yep, that's just going to be my contribution, he says, scratching his beard. Vaguely interesting. How so? Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Kyrlos laughs> takes a quick look around. Ah, uh, probably through, like, rigorous militaristic Discipline? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm going to take over my own clan and make like a make like a like a kick-ass clan. That's going to be the name of it. Like kick 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 clan kick kick ass. It's going to be me! Kirlis says slamming his thumb against his chest. How interesting. You aim to upset the balanced. Me myself, I'm only interested in the Lily clan. You mean the shitty do-nothing clan? I mean, I, that's, that's, that's cool, I guess. I mean, all I'm saying is the gold clan's a stepping stone. The honorable doubt the Deacon does not appreciate such insolence! <laughs> uh, the slight man next to him nods. On that, we can agree. In his freshly minted Valor clan armor, Kirlos jumped across the stones of the newly renovated Lily clan. Uh, he landed on the far side, crossbow clattering against his shoulder. Uh, hey! He says to Zeke, who is staring off into the distance. The flower petals danced along the expanse, perfectly, as usual, accenting his form. Hello. So, uh, I like what you did with the place. Um, very pink. It matches with my visual aesthetic, he said, clenching his fist, staring into the distance. Uh, yeah, that's, that's cool. 
Say anything different about me? New armor? The fact that I'm a clan leader now? This crossbow? <laughs> Puts the crossbow. It's going for its PhD right now, you know? <laughs> I got it from a sacred tree. I fought it down myself. <laughs> I wish you luck with your Rust clan. We're the Valor clan right now. Valor clan. The Rust clan was full of creepy murderers. We don't, we don't do that anymore. Quite some time ago, you said you were interested in bringing justice to this land. Ah, uh, yep, that's still, that's still, that's still the goal, you know? That's my job, this place is mostly anarchic, and I'm here to punch it into shape, Kirlo says, punching his own fist. You know, I, I heard something about you. Uh, certain privileged information, clan leader only type thing. Uh, I heard the whole thing about, uh, 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 the, the bull ripper, was it? Zeke tenses up. Why are you with us right now? Why are you a clan leader? Are you seeking to destroy us from the inside? Zeke felt the presence of the crossbow being leveled against him, because I'm set to protect this country, even if it's from a friend. Zeke turned around, completely placid expression on his face. Indeed, my master was a spirit, and he was cruelly taken from me by the then clan leaders. He's currently sealed below this country, writhing in agony with the rest. My goal in assuming this position is to do what's best for the people of this land, to do what's best for their culture. Justice is not my business. Acknowledgement and fairness are. Kirlos furrows his brow lowering his crossbow. What does that even mean? Ju ju how does, but justice? Uh, Zeke clenches his fist. That, my friend, is my truth. If I can count on you to bring justice, you can count on me. Yeah, I don't get a word of that, but sure. Why not, Kirlo says, staring out over the city. By the way, I live, like, right next door, so you could probably yell to me whenever. All right, I'll remember to yell for you. You're gonna have to, like, raise your voice to any degree. You're damn quiet. He slapped Zeke on the back multiple times. By the way, my clan's still better than yours. This place is nice, but, you know. <laughs> the knuckle far cooler. That place down there way cooler. <laughs> In his final moments, a blissful expression spreads over Kirlos' face as he remembers exactly how much better than Zeke was. <laughs> the Fury looks down. Aw, he looks like he's truly at peace. <laughs> Gregor, before I go, do what you can for Zeke. He's a, he's a precious flower. <laughs> precious flower. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay. He's gonna be just fine, Kirlos. When yeah. I die, give me an Outrider funeral. All right, Kirlos. I will. Frankly, you'd expect somebody so on the ball to simply pass away then and there. However, you sit and watch Kirlos through the next few minutes that seem to stretch on to eternities as his life force slowly drips away. Your struggling muscles and Narn in the distance doing something. In silence, your vigil ends, and Fury wrenches you all the way up, resting you unsteadily on your feet. I'll, uh, Gregor, I'll hold this for you, she says, taking Dr. Shoots the crossbow. Gregor's gaze drifts from his glaive to Kirlos, and he honors his promise of giving them both an outrider funeral, <laughs> and walks away. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade! Make life take the lemons back! Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons! What the hell am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager! Make life rue the day it thought it could give care. Lemons! Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down! What the lemons? I'm gonna get myself and my best friend Marcus to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down!